All right, today we're going to continue our discussion on area of a sector that we started on Friday. So these are basically the three steps that you need to do in order to find the area of a sector. So the first thing we want to do is we find the area of the whole circle. So if you remember, in order to do that, we need to do pi times radius squared. And in this case, our radius here is 12 meters, so we're taking 12 squared times pi, 12 squared is 144, and we can just leave this in terms of pi. So this is one answer that's okay to have. The other thing we can do is take out the pi and replace it with 3.14, and if we do that, I believe we get 452.16, and we can just label it as meters squared. All right, the second thing that we need to do is we need to figure out what portion of the circle is the shaded sector. So if we look here, we can see that this is the square is in the corner here. So that means that this is a 90 degree arc because the arc is the same as the angle when it's a central angle. And if we're talking about fraction, remember we have to do part to whole. So in the whole circle, there are 360 degrees. So we can, because these both end in zero, we can eliminate that zero on the end. So what we're really doing is we're saying, okay, well, we're gonna reduce the fraction nine over 36. So if we divide both of these by nine, we get one fourth. So this shaded portion right here is one fourth of the whole circle. So if this shaded section is one fourth of the whole circle, then that means that its area should be one fourth of the entire circle's area. So in order to find out what the area of the sector is, we take this portion here, so one fourth times either one of these is fine. So we'll do 144 pi. And we can think of this as just one big numerator. So one times 144 pi would just be 144 pi divided by four. And then the last thing that we need to do is just check, can I divide these two numbers and they come out evenly? So if we get out our calculator, we can see that if we take 144 divided by four, we get 36. So this would be 36 pi meters squared. And that is the area of just this shaded portion in here. If we wanted to do the exact, we could take out the pi and replace it with 3.14. And so if we take 36 times 3.14, we get 36 times 3.14 we get 113.04, so 113.04 meters squared. So this is an exact area, and this is an approximate area, but they both are the area of this shaded section in here. Same success criteria that we had on Friday, um, I just am going to give you a reminder that the formula for the area of a sector is just A is equal to measure of arc AB over 360 degrees times pi radius squared. So just a couple of reminders. This right here should be in degrees every single time because we measure arcs in degrees. And we have to make sure that we're using radius and not the diameter. Okay, so I've seen people reverse these two, put the, put the radius here and put the um, arc measure here. I've seen people use the diameter. I've seen people use the unshaded portion. So always make sure that you're trying to find the portion that's shaded and make sure that your arc is in degrees and use your radius and not the diameter. So we've got two examples for you today and then um, work on the assignment. So two things that we're going to do, we're going to find the exact and the approximate area of each shaded region. So if we look at the first one, if we look at A, we're going to start off with that same formula that we've been using. We know that the area is equal to the measure of arc AB 
over 360 degrees, and it's always going to be 360 degrees here because 360 degrees is the number of degrees in the circle. And then you're going to multiply it by the area of the whole circle, so pi times radius squared. So the two things that get replaced every single time is this measure of arc AB and the radius. So if we look at this up here, we can see that this angle right here is 60 degrees, which means that this arc is also 60 degrees because this is a central angle, which means that it's equal to this arc. So the area is equal to 60 degrees over 360 degrees times, and I'm going to put the radius first, so 5 squared pi. So first we want to do is, since these are both zeros here, we can cross those off. So we're really reducing the fraction 6 over 36. So if we divide both of these by 6, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 36 divided by 6 is 6, and then we have this times 5 squared, which is 25. So I'm just going to replace 5 squared with 25, and then we have pi at the end. So I'm just going to make this into one big numerator because when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So 1 times 25 pi is just 25 pi, and then we have 6 in the denominator. So if we take 25 and divide it by 6, we get a decimal. And we don't want decimals in this part of our answer, so we're just going to leave it as 25 pi over 6. And they didn't give us a unit, so if you want to do like meters squared or whatever, that's fine. This is the exact um, area for this shaded section here. What we want to find also then is we want to figure out what the um, approximate is. So to find the approximate, all we have to do is take out the pi and put 3.14 in its place. So if we take 25 times 3.14, we get 78.5 divided by 6. And when we take 78.5 divided by 6, we can round that to 13.1. And then again, we'll go with just meters squared this time. And this is an approximation because 3.14 is an approximation of pi. In the second example, again, we're going to start off with the formula. Area is equal to the measure of arc AB over 360 degrees times pi r squared. <clears throat> All right. Again, what we're looking for, remember, we're looking for the area of the shaded region. So if we look here, we can see that this 45 degrees is for the unshaded area, which means that the unshaded arc is 45 degrees. What we want is we want this shaded portion here. So in order to find the shaded portion, we're just going to take 360 minus 45, which gives us 315 degrees. So we know that this arc out here is 315 degrees. The other thing that we have to be really careful of is this line across here represents the diameter, but in order to find the area, we need the radius. So we're not going to use 16 centimeters because that's the whole thing. We need 8 centimeters because that is the radius. Remember, radius is half of the diameter. So now that we have those two things taken care of, we can put those in for AB and for R squared. So a area is equal to the measure of arc AB is 315 degrees over 360 degrees times radius this time is 8 squared pi. So remember, you have to multiply these two first. You're squaring this before you multiply. So here's the thing. 315 and 360 do not end with both zeros. So you can't just cross up this zero, and you can't leave the 315 over 36. So if, you, if that ever happens, then you just have to start dividing. So I know that both of these are going to be divisible by 5 because they end in a 5 and a 0. So 315 divided by 5 is 63, 
and 360 divided by 5 is 72. And again, I know that both of these are divisible by 9. So really, I have 7 over 8. So I'm just going to take this part out. And I'm going to do 7 divided by 8, or 7 eighths, times 64 pi. All right, so we have area is equal to 7 eighths times 64 pi. And again, we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other one. We're just going to put both of these in the numerator together. So if we take 7 times 64, we get 448 pi over 8. And if we divide those two, because we always want to divide to make sure that they don't come out to be a decimal. So if we take 448 divided by 8, we get 56 pi. So we know that the area here is equal to 56 pi. And I believe this one was in centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. So this is our exact. And then in order to find our approximate, all we're going to do is we're going to take out the pi and replace it with the 3.14. So if we take 56 times 3.14, we get 175.84. And I'm just going to round that to the nearest tenth, so 175.8 centimeters squared. And that is your approximate area. And again, that is just for this shaded portion in here. Okay. If you were to use the 45 degrees, then that would tell you what an unshaded portion is, but it's asking us to find the area of the shaded region, so that's why we had to use 315. All right, um, had an exit slip today. The assignment, please make sure that you're only doing 9 through 17 on the assignment on the worksheet for today. Um, it's also attached on Google Classroom, and if you have any questions, just let me know.